Hi, Stage 1. It's Mrs. Tyler here. I'm going to read you a book by Anthony Brown today called Ernest the Elephant. I hope you enjoy it. Ernest lived with his mum and the rest of the herd. Every day they walked and ate and drank. At night they slept. Ernest was happy walking and eating and drinking and sleeping. But just lately he'd started to wonder what else there was in life. One day they wandered past a jungle. What's that? Ernest asked his mum. It's only a jungle, said mum. Not a place for little baby elephants. But it looks wonderful, thought Ernest. And anyway, I'm not a little baby elephant. While his mum and the rest of the herd walked on, eating and drinking and talking, of course, I forgot to say that they talked a lot. Ernest slipped silently into the jungle. Now for a bit of fun, he said quietly. The jungle was like nothing he'd ever seen before, full of colour, dazzling light and mysterious dark shadows. Ernest was fascinated. So this is the jungle? Exciting, but just a little bit frightening. Ernest walked deeper and deeper into the jungle. After a while, he stopped. Perhaps I should go back now, he thought. But which way had he come? He couldn't see a path anywhere, and there was no one to ask. So he stumbled on through the undergrowth. Eventually, he came across a gorilla, chewing on a stick of bamboo. Oh, thank goodness, Ernest thought. It looks like he knows his way around. Excuse me, said Ernest. Can you help me? I'm lost and I need to find my way back to my mum. No, said the gorilla. Go away. Can't you see I'm busy? He shoved the bamboo back into his mouth and carried on chewing noisily. well thought Ernest and walked on into a clearing soon he saw a lion lying down in the grass excuse me said Ernest can you help me I'm lost and I can't find my mum the lion opened one eye and looked at him for a long long time then he opened the other one and said no why should I leave me alone <gasps> and he closed his eyes. Further on, Ernest met a hippo floating in the river. Excuse me, said Ernest, can you help me? I'm lost and I can't, I've got to find my mummy. The hippo didn't even look at him. No, nope, he yawned. <sighs> I'm not going to help you, and he floated away. Ernest was getting really worried now. He felt as though he had a huge lump in his throat. He saw a crocodile about to get into the water. Excuse me, can you help me please? I've lost my mummy and nobody cares. The crocodile took one look at Ernest, slowly shook his head and then disappeared under water. Ernest started to cry. How was he going to find his way back to his mum when no one would help him? Suddenly he heard a very quiet noise down by his feet. Don't be sad, can I help you? A little voice said. Ernest looked down and there was a mouse. No, you won't be able to help me, said Ernest. I've lost my mummy and now I can't find my way out of the jungle and I'll never ever see her again. But I can help you, said the mouse. Lift me up and I'll show you the way. 
Ernest didn't really believe the mouse, but he was so polite that he carefully lifted him onto his head. It was better to be lost with someone than lost all alone. But the little mouse did know the way and showed Ernest the path out of the jungle. Ernest! called Mum. Mum! called Ernest. Oh, my love, cried Mummy. I'm so pleased to see you. I've been so worried. So have I, said Ernest. They were very, very happy back together again. And so was the little mouse as it quietly scurried back into the jungle. <laughs>